Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Tyler Sports Guards. I hope you all had a excellent weekend and you are ready to start off the month of May. And we're going to start off the month of May on the channel by opening the April edition of the Cheap Fun Breaks Mystery Box. This is my fourth time opening a mystery box. Of course, we've gotten January, February, March, and April. February was my best by far, where I got the Oswald Peraza first Bowman from 2020 Bowman Chrome. And in this month's edition, from what I've seen in other mystery boxes, we are going to be looking for my first look at 2021 Bowman. Hopefully some hobby, maybe a jumbo pack in there. We'll find out. We're going to look for Austin Martin, Blaze Jordan, Mick Abel, and so many of the other prospects that are in Bowman. Before we get into that, though, got a bit of a brief mail day here. Exciting one. This is from Tops. Quick appearance from the scissors here. Let's get this open. This is my first time ordering, as you can see here, a Project 70 card. I never bought a Project 2020 card last year. Um, I wasn't, not that I'm not a big fan of the artwork, but I just, uh, last year's subjects with all the rookie cards, totally understand why they did the way that they did. Just didn't appeal to me. I care more about the, the subjects on the card. And so far, Project 70, I've liked a lot of the designs but they have just haven't been the names for me up until this one right here. This nice, I believe it's by Sophia Chang. Just the base, didn't get any foil board or anything, but as you can see there, based on the 2010 Tops design, Luis Robert, Sophia Chang. Beautiful Luis Robert card. Got the La Pantera in the background and the Black Panther, the Cuban flag, the Chicago skyline. I thought it was a really cool card. I'm a huge fan of Luis Robert. Unfortunately went down injured today. Well, I'm um, recording this Sunday evening. I'll probably post it on Monday. So got hurt yesterday. I believe it was a hip flexor issue. So it might be out for a little bit of time. Looks like it possibly could have been a lot worse though. So really sweet. My first Project 70 card, the Luis Robert. Huge Luis Robert fan. Up until his injury, he was hitting um, 310 or something. So yeah, really solid season for him so far. Hopefully he can bounce back and continue it when he returns. But for now, let's get into that Cheap Fun Breaks mystery box. As always, it is $200 if you pick them up each month. Uh, I get the annual subscription, so it was a little bit less than that when you average it out. But always guaranteed from Houdini at Cheap Fun Breaks. I'll put the link in the description box below that you will get over $200 in value based on blowout.com's value from when it ships. So let's see what we got he here. Oh, we got a card stand. Very sweet. Always some extra goodies. Nice Cheap Fun Breaks Super Fractor card stand. Perfect for this might be a little tailby. Nope, see, I can display my cards perfectly for like that when I get a nice big hit. That is really sweet there. Put that off to the side and let's see what is in here. Oh, we got a Project 70 card. I just got my first Project 70 card and now we're going to get my second Project 70 card. Let's see what we got here in this one. If it wants the bubble wrap, wants to cooperate with me. There we go. So two Project 70 cards after I never got one. Considering I just got the Luis Robert today, it's not going to be that. I believe this will be one of the Alex Party ones from what I'm seeing and it is. Very nice. This is Alex Party from his uh, Bright Mares set, I believe. Mike Trout. Very cool. He obviously had the Acuna one earlier. He has now this Mike Trout and since then also came out with the Key Brian Hayes Spider one. Super sweet Mike Trout there. Mike Trout and Luis Roberts. So now I have two Project 70 cards after not having any. So that is awesome. And let's see what's in the rest of it all. A lot of packs. We got, ooh, there's a brick in there. That might be a Bowman Jumbo. Let's move this off to the side here. Nice box as always. Ooh, really cool. Tops Tribute, never opened any of that before. A Bowman Jumbo. Very cool. I believe there should be a one in, I don't know what the percentage chance of an autograph there. A Bowman First Edition, two Bowman Hobbies, and a 2020 Bowman Hobby. So very sweet here with our packs. I'll stack this up here. Luis Robert, move it down to the side. Bowman Hobby and regular. So that is all our packs, plus this cool Mike Trout. So let's start off with last year's Bowman. Even though we still have a chance to get very exciting names like Jason Dominguez, Bobby Witt, and Robert Boston. Bobby Witt starting in double-A, Jason Dominguez starting in extended spring training as the minor league baseball season is finally here. I'm so excited for it. 
Looks like we just have an insert here. We got Andres Munoz, Sheldon Noisy, nice Matthew Libertori, of course, now on the Cardinals as he was traded for Randy Arozarena. Jonathan India has just got off the IL, Miguel Amaya. Luis Garcia, our crumbs are Daniel Lynch, also just called up. Brennan Davis, not a bad one there. Pete Alonzo and Paul DeYoung, so not much going on there. Really cool though. We will move on to the Bowman First Edition. I've never opened Topps Tribute. We're obviously gonna get a guaranteed hit there, so I'm gonna save that one for last. All right, Bowman First Edition, still looking for all those guys I mentioned before. Austin Martin, Blaze Jordan, looks like just a blue foil. Got Ivan Johnson first, Drew Romo. Geraldo Pardoma, he came up earlier in the year. Xavier Edwards, the Phillies version of Luis Garcia. Trent DeVoe first, Brett Beatty, Bryce Terang, Zach Veen, and Nick York. So not a first, but the Red Sox. First overall pick, or not first overall, but their first pick, 17th overall last year in the draft out of high school is our blue foil. Now my first look at the real 2021 Bowman. Let's see what we can get here. We got Max Kepler on the front. Glaber Torres, Blake Snell, you Darvish, nice futurist card of the 12th overall pick, I believe, in last year's draft, Austin Hendricks out of a West Pennsylvania high school. Really sweet. Love the inserts this year in Bowman. Hopefully I can find some. Uh, obviously, I don't believe there was any in retail this week. Goes our second Brendan Davis Chrome video. Nice Tristan Cassis. He will be with the um, Portland Sea Dogs. So I'll be seeing him upcoming later this month when minor league baseball finally kicks off. Nick Maton first. He's up in the majors and doing well. Adinzo Reyes and Christian Robinson. Very nice Nick Maton there. Get to our other hobby pack. Oops. Gonna show off the back card there of Jake Vogel. All right, we got Trick Scooball rookie card, Clark Schmidt rookie card, lots of rookie cards here. Tristan McKenzie, we lost Ian Anderson. Probably the only bright spot for the Braves pitching this year. Nice Heston Kierstad Bowman design. What year is that Bowman? Is this 1991? Yep. Uh, Alec Thomas is our Chrome and Gilbert Sanchez first. Ryan Velade, Matthew Levitore, and Jake Vogel first. So that is our Bowman Hobby Packs. Like the Nick Maton. Let's see if we can do better with the Jumbo. We didn't put any of these huge prospect names that are carrying it. I tried to get the Hobby Box on tops for $200, but uh, I was at work at the time and struck out. So, ooh, looks like we're going to have some sort of Atomic in here. So, we'll at least have something numbered. O'Neill Cruz, Zach Veen. So yeah, I tried to get that hobby box from Tops and I failed that and the other prices, they're just too too rich for my blood when it comes to prospecting. So whatever I find in retail and hopefully with Target's new policies or online, I can find something. Ismail Mena, JJ Blade, Brett Beatty, Jackson Rutledge, Trevor Larnich, Nick Ledolo, uh, Jeter Downs, Ivan Johnson. Here's the same rookies before Tristan McKenzie and Andrew Anderson. Nice Nick Magical, Garrett Crochet, Jose Altuve, Pete Alonzo, Manny Machado, Lodi Tavares rookie, Jazz Chisholm, fortunately he's hurt, but he's coming back soon. Casey Mize, David Garcia, Jake Cronenworth, Luis Campusana, and Ronald. Here are our inserts. Nice Robert Hassel, another first round pick, Futurist. Christian Pache is our 91 Bowman. Nice Luis Patino. So that's this year's Bowman Scouts Top 100. I like that they are vertical cards this year. Here's our Chromes, Andrew Dalkis, Tyler Soderstrom. Nice Nick Maton first, like that. Xavier Edwards and a nice Austin Hendricks. Atomic. Those aren't numbered, but still really sweet card there. A couple Austin Hendricks were really nice. And last but not least, our Topps Tribute. So we will get a guaranteed hit in here. Hopefully we can get an absolute banger, maybe an autograph. Thick tack, but I don't know if it's because we're going to get a relic or these cards are just super thick. I think it's going to be a relic. Oh, there he is. My oh, man, Luis Robert. I love these tribute cards. That is a sweet card. And on the back is a Glaber. Very cool. And our hit is gonna be this way. Which way is it? Yvonne Rodriguez and Miguel Cabrera. Green out of 99, dual relic. Very cool there. Just some napkin patches. There's that Luis Robert, beautiful card. But uh, a nice Pudge and Miguel, Tigers dual relic. Very sweet there, out of 99. So nothing major. Um, my favorite card is this Luis Robert Pace. I just love Chewy this year. Now that, I think it's a 100 card set, but of course cards uh, 90 through 100 are rookies. That would be a really sweet set to put all the base together. We got those along with that hip. Our best card from Bowman was this, uh, not a first, but this cool atomic of Austin Hendricks. 
Also got some sweet inserts there along with a Nick Maton first, uh, a Nick York um, blue foil, and here's this Mike Trout. Very sweet that came with the Cheap Fun Breaks box. Oh, a little bit of a, that's probably from the packaging though. And the leaf Robert I picked up on my own separately. So very sweet video today. Finally cool to, uh, cool to finally open some Bowman and some Tribute for the first time ever opening Tribute. Um, thank you all for checking it out. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Also make sure to follow my Instagram and my TikTok down in the description box below for extended contact, content. Coming to the channel, we got some more baseball products, hopefully some Bowman on the horizon and select football. Oh yeah, also forgot to mention this really cool stand I can display my hits on and I will do from now on. Uh, thank you and I look forward to the next time. Have a nice week, everybody.